March 27th, 2009, Financial Crisis Lesson 4. I hope you watched the last three lessons. In Lesson 3 we ended off talking about individual, individual responsibility. It's an important point. Do you believe that as an individual you have the power to get yourself out of the financial mess that you've gotten yourself into, if in fact you're one of the people that have, or do you believe a group of people, call it the government, is capable of doing it better and therefore for you? Now again, I don't want to get into the philosophical issue. It's just simply a question. And what we're finding, if you look around, is that most people don't believe, and again, not all, but most don't believe that they have the internal strength to get themselves out of their own situation so they look to somebody else or a group of people to do it for them. And if most people believe that, then that's the type of society and country that will evolve and is evolving. Let's backtrack a little bit. You can ponder on that. Let's talk about human nature. We've talked about credit and how that's uh, affected and actually started the financial crisis. And we've talked about greed. We talked about individual responsibility. Let me simplify it for you. Let's just talk about human nature for a minute. A lot of people ask, why is the price of oil, price of petrol or gasoline, so high? There's many costs and things to consider, but, but let's talk about the human nature aspect. Oil is sold on the world market. You know, and I once knew a fellow that had the mineral rights to his land. Pretend you own a piece of land and you actually have the mineral rights. And suppose there's oil on your land. And the oil company, whichever one, wants to drill that oil. And they tell you that for every barrel of oil that comes out of your land, they're going to give you 20% of whatever the barrel of oil is selling on the world market. So if oil is selling for $50 a barrel, and you're going to get 20%. That means for every barrel of oil that the oil company takes out of your land, you're going to get $10. And if they're taking 100 barrels of oil out of your land a day, 100 times $10 is $1,000 a day. But suppose you had a choice like the person I knew. And they could sell that oil, not in the world market, but they could sell that oil to their local market at whatever price they wanted.
market price is fifty dollars a barrel but you could sell to your local market for twenty five dollars a barrel if you wanted to but you're still only going to get twenty percent So instead of ten dollars a barrel of oil, you're only going to get five. And with the numbers I've used, instead of getting a thousand dollars a day, you're only going to get five hundred dollars a day. Would you do it? Would you sell to the local market? Well, you'd say for five hundred dollars a day, no problem. But I've yet to see anybody do it. And people have had the choice. If you can get a thousand dollars a day, why would you settle for five hundred? Why would you sell to the local market when you can sell your oil to the world market? and get twice the price. Is that greed? Human nature? Does it remind you of anything? Why put your money in the bank at 4%? Guaranteed. And somebody talks you into putting your money into investments at 10% or 15 or 20 a little risky but why not get the best return for your money you see human nature let's not get philosophical but for lack of a better term the evil side of human nature bad side always goes for more each individual always goes for more not always but most of the time what happens when you have millions and millions of individuals always going for more Is that healthy? Does everybody benefit from that? Has that benefited the world financial system? Does that benefit all the human beings in the world? Has it benefited you? Has it benefited your country? Your state? your local municipality I ask you in the short run it may have but now we're in the long run aren't we the long long run what's happened with those combined individual choices where we've not only gone for the most we can get, but in many ways, let other people make the decision for us with our investments and risk them for us and to get the most we can at what price. Think about it and we'll continue on in lesson five.